What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and I'm going to show you the coolest possible thing uh, you could do right now with Claude AI. You can actually have it create files, edit files on your own desktop, on your computer uh, directly without having to copy or download anything. It's kind of crazy. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Smart Devil. They are the sponsors of this video today, one of my first sponsors of uh, my YouTube videos, and they make some absolutely solid screen protectors. I actually tried these out and I tried my best to break it. I stabbed it with a knife in, on video. I tried to break it with my hand. I, I put it all the way um, bent in half and it still wouldn't break. These things are super strong, so definitely check them out. So, on to the video itself. We're going to go ahead and open up the Claude desktop app. You'll need to install that from the website first if you haven't already and log in. Um, I'm on the pro plan, but I don't believe you need to be on the pro plan. Uh, what you need to do is go into this uh, little menu on the top left corner here, go to file and go to settings. That's going to bring up this uh, separate settings menu, uh, not the same one you get in your profile settings. We're going to go to developer and then we're going to go to edit config. And this is going to place a JSON file uh, in a folder. And all that's going to have in it is these three lines. So basically one line, uh, MCP servers. Without anything written there, this is going to do nothing. So what we actually need to do is edit that config file to contain content. And what we want it to contain is this text right here with some slight edits for yours. Um, so you can see here it has my username on Windows. So user slash Alisa and slash desktop. So this is actually my um, local path. You'll just need to change this to your downloads uh, directory and your desktop directory and whatever other ones you want to have context from and uh, save that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this and save. And let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and reopen the app. Now I can go to settings, developer, and it'll show that it has file system enabled um, and allows it to make changes to the file system. Perfect, so how does that work? Well, let me show you. Uh, can you create a simple Python project on my desktop? with the aim of allowing the user to download any Git repository. Simple enough. Now watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna ask me for permission uh, to access my file system. I'll choose allow. And now there's a folder on my desktop. Okay, let's open up the folder. Nothing in there yet. It's still designing the uh, scripts for it. We'll allow it again. This time it's writing files. And you can see there's a pi file there. Now it's creating a setup file. And now it's creating a readme. Oh, and a GUI, very nice. And now there's a launcher. And now it's checking the project to make sure everything's in place and explaining the components. So I'm pretty sure I already have most requirements of Python installed. So let's go ahead and open this in terminal and see what it looks like. Yep, it actually <laughs> immediately uh, shows up as a simple to use GUI where you can enter a repository URL and a target directory. Cool. So not only can it create files, it can edit files uh, with a context. So let me go ahead and start a new chat. That way it gets rid of all the memory and say, check out the git. Let me actually get the name of the folder here. Git downloader folder on my desktop. It contains a simple to download GitHub repositories. Can you improve the app by adding a theme switcher between dark and light mode. So now what I'm testing is giving it a folder that it can access with existing code and seeing if it can update it, which hint, it can. Let's go ahead and hit uh, send and we'll allow it. It found the directory. It's examining the main files and the uh, code structure. And now it's implementing the theme switcher within those code files. So it's actually editing the files right now. And it's even updating the readme to reflect the changes. All right, so it says it's done. Let's go ahead and try it out. And now we have a light mode and a dark mode that we can switch between. Um, we can continue improving this app as much as we want. And you can even have it uh, create nested uh, subdirectories. So it's not just going to put everything in one folder. Um, it can actually organize it into subdirectories and keep everything really clean. So if you have existing uh, GitHub project files or any projects, it can actually uh, 
maintain that same folder structure. We can see here that it's now um, making the app more modular by creating folders and a hierarchy based on what types of scripts are uh, included. So you can just imagine how useful this technology is. Being able to actually do things on your computer is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?